Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 74. What day is today? Thursday, the 25th, the 25th of, of February, February 2016. My intro, asshole. This is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind. I'm Amos. With me tonight is Kent, that motherfucker right over there. Hello, and everybody. Another longtime bro of mine, Junior. How y'all doing? Oh, happy birthday, Dago. Uh, yeah, it's Mark Krata back in uh, Germany. He's, Look at it. He's, he's, been, he's been on for fucking three seconds. He's throwing out spins and shit. <laughs> Already. Uh, Jesus. This is, uh, this, this is how this show goes. Um, so we're, we are actually live in studio together, as Kent just tried to demonstrate, although the chat room didn't believe you. They said it was some green screen magic. <laughs> which <laughs> hey, might be. Still <laughs> might be. Hey, who? what? What? Everybody else does it. So, <laughs> um, man, we are, we are doing a, a podcast, and... Uh, we wanted to get Junior on. Unfortunately, between uh, Papa John's taking three hours to de- deliver three pizzas <laughs> and uh, his time constraints, he's going to be on for just a second. So um, before we let you go, before we let you meander your way out there, is there anything you would like to tell the the, uh, the internets at large, all all two fans of ours? Well, Both uh, of them. What are you going to tell both of them? Uh, I don't know what I got to tell you, but uh, I'll give you one. Uh, here's, o- here's to OB, and here's to... Uh, Oh, Kent over here, dude. We're going to do this right now. Where's your beer? The Come original on. OB. This is solid. Right, this is the best the mix got to offer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That's what it is, dude. It to does. good friends, to old friends, to new friends. Ain't the first time. Ain't going to be the last time. Huh? Yep. And $180 fans. $180 fans. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cheers. Right, well, I'm glad you could join us tonight. Yeah. Well, thanks, it's sir. been an amazing time in, over the last few hours. And if you're going to be at South by Southwest, you will see the three of us out there. Absolutely. And I can so. wait. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking be righteous time. So talking to you, Sergeant Muffin. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Uh, well, Junior, we will let you go. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for well, putting yeah. up with our setup and shit like that while we uh, scrambled around trying to get this thing going. Well, see, now you ruined my Irish goodbye because I was, you know, you know what an Irish goodbye is? No. Oh. Well, hell, dude. Hold Explain on. it to all of us. Yeah, right, the on. internet's at large. I have a piss real quick. Give me just a second. I'll all right, he's gonna okay. go piss, and then we're gonna have an Irish goodbye. Right. So. There's for you guys watching the video, you may or may not. Dude. Oh, oh, there's okay. So we've got this like this video in between thing what? happening here. So we actually have another guest, a secret guest that's uh, not going to be secret for more than the next two seconds. Um, so oh. anyway, so this is the much talked about girlfriend Stephanie. That's uh. <laughs> Is, is, so is, as soon is, as, as Junior, in my face. that's actually his preferred view of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, so as usually, soon as Junior steps out, she is going to take else's. over yeah. as our guest for the show. So, um, Hi. so before we get into our our typical stuff, because we really don't have any typical stuff this week, um, it's been kind of a shit show. Um, <laughs> I, I I have something. The the only thing that I really wanted to get across today is that um, we had a discussion last week. About nerd girls being hot or not, <laughs> especially yeah, in, in consideration to um, how we grew up and things like that. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a few comments, and I'm not going to do this for everything because this would be the one time I actually address people that have problems with the things that I say in this podcast. Mm, okay, this is interesting. <clears throat> so interesting. if if you listened last week and you had a problem with what I was saying or the opinions that I had or the points of view that I was trying to share... I'm going to express this just one time, and it's probably rather assholery of me, but that'll be explained in the process. In our circle of friends, on this podcast especially, it is my job, it is my role to bring up the questions and to have the ideas that either no one else is thinking or that no one else dares to say. This is not something new. This has been my whole life. And I... I'm not going to stop coming up with ideas, right, wrong, even if they're grossly wrong. I don't care. I'm going to bring it up because I think it's going to start start up a good conversation. And if there's a possibility of a good conversation, I'm willing to say it because why not? I'd rather have the conversation said and be wrong than to never have said it. So <laughs> for anybody that has a, 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 a something they want to say to me about a conversation I brought up, that I'm an asshole or that um, I don't understand life as it's supposed to be. (laughs) That's my job. That's what I do. That's what I've done my whole life, and I'm going to continue to do it because this is the Ritual Misery Podcast. So with that being said, (laughs) if you have a dissenting view 
or even in a green view. Or if you just want to yell at me over the internet. Yes, call in <laughs> on our Skype channel, Ritual.Misery, yep. or you can call and leave us a voicemail. 867-69-TRMPC, that's 867 867- Six nine eight seven six seven two. That's it. Oh, <laughs> yay! Where's, where's and we will there? voice your clap, opinion. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, otherwise, you can you can shout us at. Um, so you know, so out, we're, out we're, on the chat. So we're just going to do all of our plugs whatever. in the beginning. That's that's what we're going to do this week. Yeah, no, no. But <laughs> seriously, if you guys if you guys want to uh, contribute to the show, there's a million ways to do that, and there are. you can do that live. We will put you on the air live, or we will play your recorded messages, or we'll read your emails, or fucking whatever, man. Just fucking. <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> Chat Realm is saying that we, do, oh, we don't shit. have video right now. We do not, because yeah. I didn't transition it over, because I'm a fucking douche. Aww. So, um, <laughs> now so they never met Junior. Yeah. Uh, well, he's coming back. He, he, well, hopefully. Supposedly. <laughs> Go check. Is the kid still playing? Supposedly. He's supposed to be coming back. There we go. So. <laughs> Oh, and there's Movie Man, Lucas. All right. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, Lucas, I didn't text you. <laughs> oh, so, you but you know anyway. You are an awful so. father. <laughs> so I transitioned to this to start the audio. So the audio went through, apparently, <laughs> that I didn't hear. <laughs> it did. And then I didn't ever transitioned it back because I'm using studio mode in OBS for like the second time so that I can actually make the transitions and work on shit behind the scenes because I'm tired of all my mistakes going live. Yeah. Hey, everybody, in case you didn't <laughs> catch it, we're still in beta. <laughs> yeah. This hashtag. is beta seventy, yeah. Hashtag still in beta. So, um, so th- there's that. I wanted to make sure that we put that out there because I, uh, the few comments that I had seen over last week's episode were all negative. Like, oh, how can you fucking bring that up? And, <laughs> and who are you <laughs> right. to say these things? And uh, like, who am I not to say? I'm them? yeah, I'm nobody <laughs> and somebody all at the same time. So just like you. So fuck so off. there you go. Um, yeah, so what do we have this week, man? Other than uh, Junior barely being here and, and Steph making a surprise appearance. and You know what? Let, let's talk about our jerseys. Our jerseys. Because the three of us are all... Well, okay, well, okay maybe not Steph. Mine's cool but me, on. you, and Junior, who I, apparently was not seen on the video. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully he's coming back, maybe. So, I, don't I don't know. Don't we'll see. His, I don't think his wife will let him come but, back, uh, guys. Po- sorry. Podcast is good. <laughs> uh, I'm still in beta. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but... So the three the three dudes that started the show out are all wearing jerseys. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's not like you know we're not wearing like uh, New York Yankees or Boston Red Sox or something. What, right. what are we? What are we wearing? Tell tell us what we're wearing. We are wearing Kunsan specials. Um, in Korea, in Kunsan especially, it is a tradition that once you belong to a unit, you get a jersey and you adorn the jersey with your your unit logo or your unit mascot. And then other pieces of your personality, kind of like flair. Flair, yeah. Pieces Although of flair. there's no minimum requirement. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, th- there oh. is absolutely zero requirement. I finally, I finally saw that movie, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to today. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The so, last so time I was on. <laughs> new, yeah. So, new listeners have not met Stephanie probably. So, when so, the last um, time she was on, I gave her a ration of shit for not having seen. Office space, which very much applied to her work situation at the time. Yeah. Well, and still does, <laughs> mm. honestly. Uh, but it's she has worse, since seen now. it. So, <laughs> so uh, apparently that is an Irish goodbye. He's not coming back. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you learned something I'm new. Ta- no, I'm going to go take a piss. That's the Irish goodbye. Yeah, that could be. I'm cool with that. Very so. well could be. So he, he will never have been on camera. That's a shame. That's, well, that that's, sucks. That's my bad. Yeah. Next so time. Mm. South by So Wasted, mm. he'll be on camera. He will be there Ooh, for South by So Wasted. True, yeah. I won't be. We're, be we, we are going to do some things at South by First Southwest. of all, we have a meetup. <laughs> we do. A, an unofficial Diamond Club meetup yep. at... Um, Darwin's Pub. Darwin's Pub. On 6th Street. On 6th Street. Uh, I had the address. It's, it's in places. Whatever. Just, just Google... Google that shit, yeah. internet people. <laughs> yeah, Darwin's it. Pub on 6th Street. If you're watching this, you Friday, can Google that shit. Friday, March 11th. From what time are we meeting? Is uh, it six? Five to seven. Five to seven. Five, five to, seven. to seven. It's early enough for people to be able to break out and go to their parties. And still, it's early enough for people to plan to get together later to go to parties. It's right at dinner time before things get too packed on 6th yep. Street. Like, it, Hopefully, it's, it'll it's be very, this nice. Yeah, and it's, it's very conveniently located because we just kind of happened into it last year. Three times. And yeah, we, <laughs> well, okay, the first time we happened into Darwin's. 
the next two were very, very much on purpose. They've got amazing Philly cheesesteak. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, sandwiches. Uh, you know, good beer on tap. It's just a, it's a really fun environment. Uh, do you hold, have, hold do you on, hold on. We, we, have a, we have a caller. We have a caller. Uh oh, what do we got? Hey, uh, caller, you are on the Ritual Misery podcast. Who is this, and what the hell do you want? Outstanding. Uh, so, did you get my text earlier? I did. I did. You asshole. Outstanding, and that's the Irish Dubai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, well. Uh, so the so jokes on you, man. That out, man. Jokes on you. Uh, apparently, I never put it onto the video while you were here, so you didn't even show up on camera. You were hi- hidden behind the Richard Misery podcast God. logo. Damn it! Ah. Damn it. Oh, I hope I pulled that off. See, I'm, either way, I'm still really proud of myself right now because uh, you know what? I've never been able to pull off an actual Irish Dubai. Yeah. Amongst people that I have a lot of love for. Yeah. It's like, no, nah, man, I'm going to stay my goodbye. No, nope, yeah. I'm doing it right now. It's going to happen. Well, again, right. again, joke's on you, but we will see you in uh, two weeks at South By. <laughs> Fuck yes, brother. You know it, man. I'll see you shortly. Yeah, man. All right, Junior. Have a good night. Peace. Dude, see you soon, bro. I'll see you. Got mad love for Kent, man. I'll see you guys uh, in a couple of weeks, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Deuces. Awesome. So that's an Irish goodbye, everybody. <laughs> we all learned something tonight. So BioCal put up a link in chat realm for Darwin's for Darwin's Pub, yep. dude. Check it out. It's uh, it's such a cool place. The Do you remember the proprietor's name? The manager of the place? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, Amos. He's looking at, at Darwin's. You. So you know the answer. So the answer is no. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter what his name is. Apparently, uh, but no, he <laughs> he's, he is such a he is such a personable dude. He comes out and he talk. He tries to talk to everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, we had some really good chats with him. It's yep. just it's just such a chill, awesome place. And uh, importantly, it's actually open to the public. Like it's open to the street. So there's unlimited space. Literally unlimited Absolutely. space. Yeah, it it's really cool. If if you're gonna be in Austin for South by So Wasted and you are there on Friday, please come out. There's yep. going to be not, it's not just a ritual misery thing. Is it this is a diamond club thing? Diamond club thing. This is this is very specifically not a ritual misery thing. Absolutely. This is definitely a diamond club yeah. thing. So. Yeah, we'll probably be wearing our ritual misery shirt, shirts so we can be we we'll, we'll, we will be appropriately adorned. Yeah. We'll have some kind of diamond club or ritual misery or, gear or, or something. fucking Coonson jersey or something. Or like, something we'll have yeah. something. We'll we'll be we'll be sporting some or shit. Just Nothing. Don't oh. don't forget Ooh. your swag deal. We, we can be um, we can be recognizable by the guys not wearing anything. Yeah, you see a couple naked guys sitting outside a pub. <laughs> it's not <laughs> us. <laughs> it's not gonna be us. Because <laughs> it's gonna in March in Texas. It's gonna be warm, but not that fucking warm. No, no, it'll, it'll be it'll be warm turned to chilly really quick. So right, right, right. So, um, no, that's gonna be a great time, man. I cannot wait. Yeah, yeah. That's two weeks away, dude. Two weeks. It's fi- two fifteen weeks. days. Yes. From now. Yes. Cannot wait. <clears throat> so you know what you should do on that computer right over there? What's you that? should bring up the details for South by So Wasted so we can share that with our, our people oh, in case absolutely. they don't already know. Um, finally got information on that. It's going to be Saturday from 1 to 4 or something like that? Uh, 2 to 5. 2 to 5. Hey, I was almost there. Yep. At the brew. Hold on. I've got it. Right. Over like do something. Here. Holy shit, man. I've Lack of preparation. This is what preparation so, will get you folks. All right. Like, so, so let's talk about our swag real quick. <laughs> So we so we have a shirt for sale. We do. That is zero markup. Zero markup. Yeah, zero mark. We don't make None. shit off of it. But yeah. we it, would it love was actually it if- brought up by a, a member of the Reddit, the Diamond Club Reddit. Yep. At uh, was it diamondclub.reddit.com? I think I think it's it. Diamondclub.reddit. Yeah, diamondclub.reddit.com. And yep. uh, the idea was that we are that it's it's Austin. They're doing night attack and it's live. So, A N A L Austin Night Attack Night Live. Attack Live. So we're just there for anal. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Aust- Hell yeah. Austin Night Attack Live is what I'm there for. So, and that's why Steph won't go. <laughs> so we. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the privacy of my bedroom. Thank you very much, Amos. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so Austin Night Attack Live happens in the privacy of her bedroom. Oh wait, that's my bedroom. Wait. Not we when might be not when you're in much. Austin, it ain't. <laughs> 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 you so leave me to go to Austin. That's my so you're gonna I go to Austin for anal. And she's staying here for it. Like what? <laughs> what the hell? What, what is up with that? So so anal on on March 12th in Austin is going to be at the Brew Exchange. Yep, uh, 706 West Sixth Street. Yes, 706. But of course, West Sixth Street. Everybody in chat room already knows this. Well, maybe. I mean. 
They might be behind. I mean, they might be watching us now, just wandering through. <laughs> that, you know, yeah, have, have this shit on. On you know, be like, oh, click. Let me click this and, and it go. It could be. It. Raise your hand if uh, that's one of you. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna be there. Uh, we would love to meet all of you. I cannot. The part that I'm excited about this is a hundred plus beers. Oh, I know. Hundred plus craft beers. Yeah. Can you bring any home? That's gonna be amazing. Mm. It'd be hard for us to spill the cup. Yeah. I'll, 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 <laughs> bring, wait. bring, bring, bring beer home without me drinking it before I get. No. <laughs> that's, that's no, not no, 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 no. That I'm not, not picking likely. your ass up from El Paso. You bring the beer home to me. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah. So. so um, yeah. Um, so I I flew in from uh from Korea a couple of days ago. Yep. And I got to tell you about customs, man. <laughs> oh God. Customs is always fun. Um, uh, or not. Did you notice the dripping sarcasm in there? No, I didn't no. at all. It was like gravy, dude. It was like gravy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Why are we together? <laughs> <laughs> We're all wondering that. <laughs> right. Oh, so God, me too. Hot nerd chick up, <laughs> up for grabs. <laughs> no, you're mine. Bring me beer. <laughs> and <laughs> anal in my bedroom. All right, so, uh, so what happened? G- <laughs> all right, so we're... G- Amos, you got this? Um, so... Sorry, so guys. I'm going through uh, I'm going through customs, and there's a few things that, that bother me about customs. Now, where did you? What what was your port of entry? Dallas. 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 Oh, okay, so yeah. you DFW. you landed in Dallas. In DFW. Yep. Okay. And first of all, if you are an old lady, which I'm not, that can barely walk, hmm. I can walk. don't walk down the middle of the skyway with your bag in one hand and another bag in the other, blocking the whole fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 should go without saying. But good advice. Not. Good advice. Was it was this a, a Korean lady or um, an American I, lady? I, I'm going to say that I don't remember the ethnicity. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter because it doesn't. Old, old she was lady. old and slow old and ladies, inconsiderate. Uh, no, she wasn't inconsiderate. She's just old lady. Well, yeah, because I mean, what, dude, once territory. you once you get I'm that w- old, you pretty much the, don't I'm give a shit about what's happening around. I'm going to go with willful inconsiderate. Like okay. She just didn't give a shit. She was like, right. you know what? You yeah. guys can wait. No, no fu- fucks. She's yeah. already given all the fucks that she had. She's already <laughs> now, given. Literal, now literally know. and figuratively. Yes. They're gone. <laughs> now they I are know. gone. Now I so. know why we're together. No <laughs> fucks are given. <laughs> so. Um, <coughs> I'm the awkward one. So here. anyway. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I, I get I get into customs and I am a U.S. active duty military service member. Re-entering my home country with nothing to claim. Right. So, d- don't you have the um, th- the pass now? Like the uh, what do they call it? The preferred traveler or the uh, uh, what is it called? I, I when it comes to customs, they call TSP. it They call it nothing because when you mm. come through, you go into. We, I went into the line for the U.S. citizens. Right. They, you know, they've got diplomats, U.S. citizens, other people, and and like some special categories and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I went into the U.S. Citizens one. W- we wheeled my way through the line, but th- there wasn't a line. And at the counter were several non-U.S. citizens. Sure. Okay. But if, th- if there's no one in line, they help them, no problem. Okay, whatever. Okay, right? sure. 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 I was directed to go down to another line where there were already people in line. Directed by a customs agent. This is like, you know, a full uniform wearing actual employee of the Department of State. Or whoever. Homeland Security. Whatever. Telling me to go down (laughs) into another line. So Uh as a a proper citizen, I go down to the next line. Not long after I get in that line, waiting for the people to get through, the line that I was originally in clears out and more people come in. So now, now I'm already, I should have been seen in process, you know, going through. So this goes back to something we had, we were talking about, was it last week or two weeks ago? Where there should be one line. Yes. That Well, there was only one line until you got to the agent, but then I was in that line and they direct me to a new line. Uh, so they're they're they had it set up correctly. So this was on purpose so, is what you're saying. Yes. They're like, oh, oh, oh hey, that's well, that's so, Amos right so there. Actually, actually I should back up one Let's one fuck step. him over. I should I should back up one step. <laughs> Originally I went through the, the quick line because you know I'm a US citizen, so I go through, scan my passport, and it flags me like, Oh no, you you're not flagged in the system properly, so you gotta go through back to the other line. Okay, so I we went through the other line, that's when they directed me to this new line. And now the line that I the, the second line I've gotten in that I should have been able to just walk right through and show my stuff and move on. Uh-huh. 
was now cleared and reoccupied with all new people, but I'm still sitting over here in this other area. So fuck you, basically. Yeah. And then I Got get it. up. To, then I get up to the counter, and this is where the stupid starts. <laughs> oh, oh, it hasn't even started yet. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I so, should have seen that coming because this is Amos. This is an Amos story. So here we go. <clears throat> all right, guys, get ready. I I am a U.S. citizen. Um, in the military, I'm traveling on orders, which means I don't have to get my passport stamped. Going through countries, I show my orders that I'm that I'm stationed in Korea, showing my leave form, and that's my reason for being there. Everything else, and right. they process me through. Yep, yep. That's I the way get, it's supposed to go. I get to the agent, and he asks for my passport. I hand him my passport. Right. I hand him my passport, my ID card, my leave form, and my orders. All four. Right. Right. Everything. Yeah. He hands me back the orders and the leave form. Says mm-hmm. I don't need those. Uh, Yep, okay. <laughs> Has my military ID and my U.S. passport. Right, okay. He's flipping through the book, and then he goes, there are no stamps in here. Uh, and you I don't said, have an entry stamp I don't to ha- Korea. Right. I yeah. said, I know. I'm traveling on orders. Right. To which he says, but where's your stamp? <laughs> okay, so he's the new guy. Because <laughs> this is like, this is Customs 101. Right. Yeah. So I end up standing there in line trying to explain to him that I am coming back into the country on military orders. So you should while on so the, 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 his next mm. question was, mm. "Where are your orders coming back into the states?" Oh, what you just handed him. I I okay. handed him my leave form, and he says these are, these are not orders. So you know enough about the leave form to realize that's not orders, but not enough to realize that I'm coming back on leave. Right. 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 It took me uh, like 10 minutes to, to get this through this dude's head. And he eventually just walked over, got someone else, and came back. And they looked at him and said, oh, yeah, he's good. Send him through. Yeah, so it was the new guy. Okay. Got, yeah, okay. All right, so we're clear. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, no, it, I, I, I kind of understand why, if I'm a military member, active duty, serving, blah, 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 that I don't have like a special lane to go through for security. I would like one because I'm selfish, but I understand why there's not. Okay, you, you, you can't just, like, there are some military members that are pieces of shit. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. sure. I mean, the military is basically a microcosm of society. Right. Yeah. Now, why is it that as an active duty military member, I can't just walk through fucking customs? Dude, I wondered that for 20 years. I never got an answer. So. It, it, it seriously pisses me off. Well, but I think they they didn't they change this though where there's the the uh, prefer, preferred traveler or what the hell that's, is the program called? That's that's going through security. security. That's oh, not that that's customs. not for customs. Yeah. Oh. And that just means they don't have to take okay. my shoes off yeah. if they catch it and give it to me, yeah. which they don't always do. Which gotcha. I'm, I'm fine with okay. because well, because it takes two extra seconds to take your fucking shoes. I don't shoes have off. well that I'm, I'm a, okay, so I'm a well prepared traveler. Mm-hmm. I go in there and when I go through security, I don't have anything in my pockets. Exactly. Everything's in right. my carry on. Right. Oh, you've traveled before. Got it. Yeah. Um, I have shoes that are easy to take off. I'm yep. not wearing any metal other than my ring, and nobody gives a shit. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. I even went so far as to take my watch off, and they told me, no, put that back on. Right, yeah. Because it's not. Yep. It's, it's like they can, they can it, see yeah, I'm not it, hiding anything. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The people in front of me, though, in Seoul, of course, I do not know their nationality. Sure. They had duffel bags, literal duffel bags with sleeping bags inside the duffel bags <laughs> okay. that they took out because they had stuff in the duffel bag under the sleeping bags that they had to show. Sure. <laughs> they did all this after they got to the, the bucket area. Mm-hmm. So did you do the jerk thing or the quote the jerk thing and be like, oh, they're being really slow. I'm going to walk around them. When you were leaving the Seoul airport, the way security set up, there's literally no room to go around anybody. Mm. You were that's, one, that's when once you do the you Korean subway thing and you turn into a sardine can and fucking snuggle up with the person and be like, I'm just going to go right I next already to had you. all my stuff ready, <laughs> shoes in hand and everything else. Like, uh, it was... And there's two of them. They were traveling together, a man and a woman traveling together, and they both had all this shit. Right, right, yeah. Then I found out they're on my flight. <laughs> <laughs> of course they are. So they both have a duffel bag as their personal item, oh plus a carry-on. Plus another personal item, like they get on the plane, and they were sitting back, like further back in the cab than I was, because I, I went to the bulkhead, so I had extra leg room, and 
they were literally like we were one of the first people on the plane when they were closing things up the the stewardess was still helping them put their shit <laughs> in the carry on like they were going to so the they're, first they're they, taxiing they were those people <laughs> they were taking stuff all the way down to first class because there's no more room Jesus. in the back <laughs> like oh man yeah hell in fucking america you come in through fucking security and you even look like you have more than one personal item and one carry on they flag your ass and like nope you got to go back and I'm just saying it's shit. not it's not that hard hop on youtube learn to fucking fly people <laughs> yeah so anyway so you're here now you're back <laughs> in the states welcome to murka 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 yeah so so here we are beer i'm in america drinking a a mexican version <laughs> of a german beer <laughs> <laughs> indeed you are sir so so there's that. That's that's kind of the situation of things. I'm still drinking the oldest craft beer in America, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Right, right, right. As is Stephanie. <coughs> so. Um, so speaking of beer, our week was was pretty fun. Mm. Uh, Saturday. Saturday was it? Yeah, we went down to El Paso, the lovely, wonderful, amazing city that's El. Pa- okay, so I can't keep that up. No. Um, it, no, no, El Paso <laughs> actually had something fun going on. It was a, a beer festival. It was called Sun City on Tap and was part of the larger national series of beer festivals. Fests, yeah. at, uh, what do they call it? Uh, America on Tap or something like that? Yes. Um, so it was it was a good time. There was, what, roughly 100 beers? A little over 100, yeah. Yeah, 100 and something well, beers there was that were available. About, there was probably about 60, 55, 60 Breweries Brewers, rep- right. represented. Yeah, yeah we're gonna yeah. say represented. And because, each yeah. of them, each of them had. It, I, I don't think two. I saw anybody le- with less than two beers. Um, so it was a good time. Four of us went down there, and we each had eight tickets for sample size beers. So that basically meant that we all got to try thirty-two different beers. Shout out to Kim. Happy birthday! Holy thank you shit. for bringing us down to yes. To Sun thank City you, Tap. Kim. <laughs> We've uh, man. I've mentioned Kim and Travis <laughs> consecutively for like five weeks, I think. And they're not in the show because because they're not here. I don't know because, because our, we're because too we, late because we podcast <laughs> at like fucking all hours of the night apparently. And they're People, early like, birds and they thanks, have Papa to go to work and stuff. <laughs> yeah, love so. you, mean it. Uh, <laughs> so no, not really. That's so fucking stupid. Like. Every time yeah. I hear that, I want to punch somebody in the throat. Oh, God, right? <laughs> you, even if I, I just it. see it on TV or, or <laughs> like, I still want to punch somebody in the throat. Like, Yeah, so, but no, that was that was a really good time. Um, we saw Deadpool again. Yes, we did. Um, it was cool. It, it was a good time. It's funner watching Deadpool while you're tipsy. Oh, we were. Yeah, because we, we, went, <laughs> we, we went to Deadpool drinking. straight from the beer fest. Well, we stopped and we ate, like, a snack. Nachos. We had a snack. We did not have a meal. And we had sticks. appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fantastic. Man, I uh I wish I had been really drunk when I watched Deadpool. No, I don't. I was glad I was sober because <laughs> this show was hilarious. I fucking Just as it was. adore I adore Deadpool and, and we have the trailer going on. I work at a nerd store and we have the trailer going on all the time. Which which one? Um they have like the, the original theatrical trailer or the teaser or the fondle your nuts or what? Um, fuck, which one was it? <laughs> oh no! Pa- apparently, I'm, she drinks no, no. at work too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different subject. N- no comment, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no comment. Um, no, the one where uh, he's like, "Ooh, I so pressure her," you know, whatever guy pressures her into prom sex. Mm. That trailer. Mm. And then after, you know, in- you enjoy this, you know, green band goodness. You know, right. you want some big boy language? Go to my website. Oh wow! And uh, I don't think I've actually seen the green band one. Yeah, no, that's what played because obviously, you know, we can't you know, right, play the bad It's a re- ones. T- retail establishment yep. in a conservative town. Uh, yeah, it, well, essentially. <clears throat> and uh, so yeah, anytime it plays and people start laughing at the jokes that are in there and I peek my head around the corner and I'm always like, hey, you need to go watch that movie now. And then I see the word kids and I'm like, don't bring your kids. Yeah. Like oh immediately when we went the first time, I counted seven kids in that theater the first mm, time yeah. the second time we went and saw it i s- there was more than a dozen children children not even like 16 yeah we're talking 15. no no no. we're talking like five six we're talking seven year like 10 year old and under so yeah 
like, entropy of the American will or something. And then people uh, are all of, there. people are all offended, like, oh my gosh, Deadpool! I can't believe you know they they did that. And you I'm know, like, it's a rated R you movie. You know, it's 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 one thing it's one thing if you bring your kids and it's fine with you. You don't right. care. Like, you know, sh- fuck, they hear worse at the house. Okay, right. you know, uh, they're, right they're at home watching the Ritual Misery podcast. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, right or wrong, you know, that's whatever. That's fine. But you go there expecting that this is like, oh, this is Green. This is the same guy that played Green Lantern. This is gonna be just like Green Lantern. Oh, Deadpool. He was in that Spider-Man like, show, right? Really? The fucking no. movie is rated. Ugh. Okay. Well, the funniest part about going to see it the second time, <sighs> we sat towards the front, and right behind us there was a toddler <laughs> laughing <laughs> at the the most inappropriate parts. Yeah. The, the guy's getting the shit beat out of him. And, and the toddler's sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That happened. It, 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 <laughs> at the same time, my my heart broke like, oh, humanity. And then the other, my you know other half was just like, that is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two sides of the brain, just kind of like Deadpool, where he there's two. Well, no, there's 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 three voices. Well, there yeah, Deadpool. there's Wade, there's Deadpool, and then there's the other the one. The other one, yeah. <laughs> the square box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I read so, the comics. Do we have sounds queued up for TED Talks? We do. Oh, okay. We do. Oh. Wait. No, we don't. No? Okay. But, uh, but we can. We, well. well. <laughs> we can. Did you watch the TED Talk this week? I did not. Stephanie, did you watch the TED Talk this week? I watched TED Talk six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember it enough to talk about it? I think you talked about it. <laughs> oh, okay. It was well. a self-driving car one, which I'm All still right, well. not 100% for, but... <laughs> Oh you know boy! This. Okay, that that can be another show. All, all <laughs> soon. I have thing. I have things to say, people. Things uh, to say. That, is, that is hilarious. Okay, okay, okay. okay just here, here. bringing. Okay, bringing uh, self-driving cars, <laughs> fuckers like the one when we were driving home from El Paso, who was obviously drunk. Got oh, pulled over. we called in right. a drunk driver coming down the highway, yes, and he was obviously yes. going to run oh, himself it was off ba- the road. Yeah, he, about 18 times, yeah. and so, uh, damn near sideswiped two cars. Yeah, so yeah. We, we called the cops on him, did the good thing, he got pulled over, you know, shit happened. Yeah, that okay, which but, wouldn't have happened if okay, he had been in a self-driving you, but, car. I mean, still to the point, self-driving cars aren't going to be like... I don't trust anyone who's not able to function... In a moving vehicle, even if the vehicle is just doing its own thing, if you can't function, if something glitches and you no, have to no, take no, no, over, no. So it, it, it's going to perpetuate the drunk driver. Like It's going to be like, I totally sound valid. I absolutely I, disagree with everything you just said. <sighs> because the car is driving itself. It's, it's like putting a drunk person in a cab. If mm. the person is drunk... They're going to affect the cab driver. Yeah, because but if they're drunk. still going to be sitting in the front seat, you can still fiddle with buttons and whatnot and still fuck with the damn car. And you're still going to be held responsible to it. So the people that are driving drunk now are going to be the ones that are driving drunk in their self driving car. And then just. Yeah. I, I, I mean, a self driving sure car is going to get you home. I'm where sure there's if you a try, lot of try to drive yourself, you're going to either be in a ditch or you're going to yeah. plow over. I, I'm sure there's a lot of math there that we're not thinking of, but. Roughly, I'm going to guess that the number of people that are saved and accidents that are saved by the self-driving car doing its thing is going to more than compensate for the people but that are f- fiddling far. with shit. Okay, ag- by far. Agreed, Be- but I still don't trust it. Oh, I don't trust people anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I drive. Anytime I go anywhere, I drive because I don't trust Yeah, and you people. scare the shit out of me half the time. <laughs> Just because I grew up in Italy and learned how to drive uh, in Italy, fucker. Welcome to Lover's Quarrel, the podcast. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that music queued up yet for TED um, Talks? Do you mean the music that's playing? So, TED Talks. Yeah, I didn't watch the TED Talk this week. All right, so we're going to do this then. <laughs> oh, wait, no. no, 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 hold on, hold on. I do have something to say, though. This goes out mm. to Cabo Wabo. You son of a bitch. <laughs> for, for what? Teaching to dry your hands? All right. So check this out. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so like right. a year ago. I've heard of this. <laughs> all right. So like a year ago, you, you, you you're, watched. You're, the, you're on mic. You don't have to yell. Well, I'm going to fucking yell. <laughs> I'm he yells when he gets upset. It's his soapbox. Let him get on his damn soapbox. So like a year ago or Ooh. so ish. I don't know. You brought up the TED talk about the using one paper towel to dry your hands. Yes. Right. So for about. Six months, 
after that, every time I used a public restroom, all I could think about was that goddamn TED Talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get it out of my mind, <laughs> and I'm able to dry my hands in peace in public restrooms. <laughs> For the last week now Aww. at work, every time I use the restroom and I wash my hands, I look at the paper towels, I'm like, God damn it. All I can think about is you, Chris Cabano, in that goddamn TED Talk. <laughs> so thank you very much. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so awesome. I and really that's do. TED Talks by Rich Romero. <laughs> Wow. All right, man. So what what else do we have to talk about this week? Um awesome. <laughs> Bio- <laughs> BioCal has fallen prey to the same uh, the same ideal. I'm, really, I'm actually yeah. quite content that I haven't seen this you, TED you talk. Shouldn't. It's so contagious. No, it, yeah, it I'm not mind. going so, to. So Chris, if you're listening to the audio version of this, Chat Realm's calling you out as well. Yeah. BioCal in particular is saying, Cause of you <laughs> 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 so. All right, and 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 there there's a TED talk from Mr. Uh, Peak on the monitor. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> um, what else we got? What else do we have this week, man? I, kn- I know we had some other stuff in there. Um, well, the only thing left in the show Cause I, cause knows I've, I've only got one talk. more thing, but it's going to be part of the after show, so it, it'll be for chat room only. Okay. Well, um, well, that's our show notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this was very impromptu. Wow, this wasn't at this, all no, planned. Th- this was actually really planned out. Yeah, but d- obviously did not go as planned. Thank you, Papa John's. In pa- Irish goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> Thanks, so, Junior. <laughs> yeah. Love you, mean it. Thanks, Junior. <laughs> <sighs> Ow. Crush him. Oh boy. Um. Fuck you. I'm not sure what that was, but okay. Yeah. Thanks. And stuff. Oh man. So um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Uh you can find us at all the places. This man, I I don't have my show notes. This is so odd for me not to have my show notes. <laughs> yeah, so so it. next week we have a we have special guests plural next week. Yes, we do. So last year at South by Southwest mm-hmm. we met some folks that were promoting a, a video game. Mm. Um Edgar so- Sorano was one of the people that you and your Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he tries so, so hard. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he he s- really sold me on the <laughs> Kickstarter project for a game called Malaka. Oh, Kickstarter mm. surprise! And unfortunately, that game was not funded through Kickstarter, but they have since good. found the funding for the game, yep. so they are in full force development yep. of the game. And we are fortunate enough to get Man, we, Edgar. Man, it would be great if we had somebody come on the show and tell us about it and tell us about the, the process and everything else. Right. Well, fortunately for us, we are going to have Edgar and Adolfo, another member of, of the Malaka Lienzo, team. Yeah. the Malaka team, they are both going to be on our show next week, and I cannot yeah. wait to talk to them about Malaka. What about, uh, I mean, you know, people that have any questions, I mean, we have... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Um, we have we have several people in chat room that are that are game developers or programmers. Absolutely. Or, um, so I'm sure they won't have any questions about taking the game mainstream. But if you do have any questions about taking the game mainstream and getting it funded in the process and everything else, by all means, email us uh, podcast at ritualmisery dot com, and we'll get those questions uh, addressed. Absolutely. Probably or even if in Lienzo is a a Mexican uh, game developer. If you have any just questions, you want to know like how things might be different, different in Mexico versus the United States as far as game development goes. See, if if I had brought that up, people would be calling me a racist. So, well, just because you're racist, I, I I just I just hate white people. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, <laughs> there's there's a joke Damn about self hating racism in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> keep digging, keep digging. <laughs> I can continue. Uh, no, ritual misery <laughs> loves all people. Yeah, or hate all people. I was about to. No, 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 no. We either love or hate. I don't know. We hate and love equally, or something like that. Sure. Well, at know. least one of you cares, so that's what matters. Something like that. Maybe not the same person for all things. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so tune in next week to hear from the Malacca team. <laughs> all right. Um. So where can people find out more about this? Uh. This this hoopla we're doing here. You can go to ritualmisery.com and no. learn all about all of our things. Yep. Or you can follow us on Twitter 
at Ritual Misery. Yeah, or at RM underscore Del Noche. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah. So see all the things that I'm tweeting about. Lately, yeah. I've been more retweets than than original tweets, but mm, you know, there's always I'm I'm reinventing myself on there every week. So tune in and check <laughs> it out. Where <laughs> Where are you at on Twitter, man? At Ethan Kane, and uh, I've been kind of quiet this week because I've been flying a lot. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, kind of busy. Yeah, and I got I got another road trip ahead, so it'll be probably Tuesday before I really get really active anywhere again. Yeah. Um, Steph, where are you at on Twitter? Are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Oh my god! You oh. made you forced me because when you went to South by last year, you refused to text <laughs> me about what you were doing, and you forced me to sign up for Twitter. So okay, so real asshole. quick, she was like, okay, because last year we were Amos and I both were basically live tweeting our our South by. No, experience. you were live tweeting your fucking beard pictures, trying to to antagonize Justin. Well, that happened too. <laughs> that happened too. It, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it did totally work. Worked. It totally worked. <laughs> so Steph. Text me like, so wh- what are you guys doing? Like, what's going on? And <laughs> me the being asshole. a drunken asshole, I was like, uh, look on Twitter, <laughs> which so, forced me into be so. Here, be here's a Twitter. here's a uh, here, here, here's a quick shout out. Um, I'm going to leave it up to uh, chat room if they have any ideas. We want to do something. We know we know for a fact that Justin and Brian do not watch our show. They. They Even though Brian's been on our show, <laughs> right? So <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why he doesn't watch. No. Um, so, so uh, we want something subtle but overt. Something that that some kind of internal joke because we've been thinking about it and we haven't come over. The last year was the beard thing. We were taking pictures of everybody's beard and making remarks about Justin's beard. I found Justin. Yeah, we found Justin here and <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that we, was spontaneous. That it, was it not was, planned it was. at all. We oh. were like, oh my God, that guy looks kind of like Justin. Yeah. Not really, but no, sort we, of. It didn't. <laughs> um, so we want to come up with something to, to, to antagonize them again this year. Something to just get get a little bit under the skin, either good, good or bad, but we want to have it a mass thing. And we'd love to be able to get people on board at the oh, uh, at the meetup. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then ideas just are gonna be flowing. Just blast them all fucking Friday night. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. all all Friday night. So if you got ideas for that, man, um yeah, just just hit us up in all the places in or all the places, yeah. just show up at Darwin's on the eleventh yep. from what five oh, and hey, I have an idea. By the way oh so take a picture of trees and say I found Brian Brushwood. Different brush bushes around the yeah. Brush, brush Ooh, and wood, brush and, and wo- yeah. oh, oh, we can take pictures of brushes <laughs> and or br- the underbrush. <laughs> oh, wait, we, wait, wait, no, that could Brian go wrong. Underbrush. No, that could go wrong. <laughs> what what <laughs> we could do is take pictures of dicks and pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna go there. No, I knew he was gonna go there. No, no, no. You take pictures so. of trees and say you found <sighs> brushwood. <laughs> so, right. All right. So. All right. Um. Yeah. That's my input. I, I'm, I'm yeah. really, I'm really anxious to get to the after show. Uh, if you, uh, we'll, we'll probably release it to patrons. Um, oh, absolutely. Because I, I have some things which, to say. Which we can be found. Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. Misery. Yep, if you want to support the show. In fact, what I was going to say is we have a better way to support the show, at least temporarily. Okay. Find us at South By and buy us a drink. There you go. Or you forgot your swag. Or, you know what? If you show up to South By Southwest and we see you wearing a Ritual Misery t-shirt, we'll fucking buy you a drink. You're getting at least a free drink from each of us. So that's two free drinks. Yep. The, the, The shirt pays for itself. So come to... Darwin's Pub on 11 March from what time? 5 to 7? Uh, 5 to 7. 5 to 7. Yep. Wearing a rich from history swag and you're probably going to drink for free all night. Yeah. So, exactly. hint, if you see them later in the night, all you probably have to do is like duck, put duct tape on your shirt and write ritual misery on there and they'll probably buy you a drink. Th- that Late enough in the night. I'm not going to say happen. that that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but late, late enough in the night. The I know, but that depends. That depends on how many drinks you buy me. <laughs> <laughs> I know these guys. It'll they're, they're catch them late. Like there. Catch them late enough in the night, and it might happen. <sighs> so there's there's all that. Also, um, uh, what's, what's the number? Uh, five six seven six nine T R M P C. That's it. The one or you already five, six, said. Five six seven six nine. Eight seven six seven two seven six seven two. That's Damn, it. Like uh, this is yep. gonna be burning. Call, leave us a message. We will play. <laughs> we will play your audio. Bio Bio it doesn't says, matter uh, what you say. We Bio will Cal, play it. Biocal says uh, every, and he's in the chat room. He says every time we see Brian Brush, we should pull out a liar, lighter and wave it at. <laughs> wave, wave it like, like a we're at a concert. Yeah, just yeah. yeah to emphasize the whole 
burning his hand I, I can, thing during yeah. the mag- I, magic show last I, week. I can, I can, uh, yeah, I can, I can see. Uh, we, we can work with no. that idea. Yeah, yeah that's, we can. That's tra- That's that's reiterating traumatizing. Yeah, uh, he he was joking about it himself. Yeah. So yeah, no, that, I'm, that, I'm good that, that makes it fair game. For yeah. Everybody <laughs> <joke>. <laughs> All right then. Besides, this is Brian. It's good, already fair game. Good luck, Brian. There you go. So yeah, so richardmisery.com, richardmisery.com forward slash swag. If you'd like to get some free drinks at the. At uh, South by Southwest, for uh, richmisery.com forward slash support. If you find like to find any of the other ways that you can support the show, um, we've got a bunch of them. And if you are broke or you just don't think we're monetarily feasible to support, cruise on over to uh, your favorite email climate client and hit uh, podcast or ritual. Yeah, climate, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> podcast at richmisery.com and shoot us an email and tell us all the shit we're doing wrong that we could do better to help earn your support. Yeah. So there's all that. Or drop us a review, a five star review on uh, iTunes. Well, right? iTunes and, and all and that other Stitcher shit. Stitcher and whatever. All right? that stuff. I don't, I, we're on Stitcher, but I don't think anybody subscribes to Stitcher. That, there's probably one yeah. dude who's like, fuck probably. you guys, I'm not subscribed anymore. Yeah, I think that might be our, our dude from like. Um, France or something. Yeah, well, we've only got two dudes, so South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You the other ones, yeah, the other ones are imaginary. We have exactly two you, watchers and you, listeners. You really theoretically so. should have a dudette in there, but apparently your your numbers well, don't recognize she, what podcasting that I use on my on my. She phone. she needs to she needs to provide us some feedback if she is. We'd welcome some female oh, feedback. Right, that would be tell, that'd tell be me fantastic. what a misogynist I am. Is that a word? That's a word. Misogynist. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's, um, a massage therapist. Yeah. <laughs> massage therapist. <laughs> Oh, well, I, mean. I don't trust you. <laughs> Massage, misogynist, misogynist. So there's all that. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, do, do all the things, find us in all the places, and enjoy yourselves immensely. So there, there's all that. And uh, I'm going to hit the music. We're going to thank um, Kevin McLeod. Yes, because he provided our music. He did. And uh, we really appreciate that. So for you, for me, for that guy, and for her, and for Junior, <laughs> and Irish goodbyes, this has been your Rich and Misery podcast. See ya. We are, and I'm still playing music, and I just Diamond took Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. Because <laughs> apparently that's their thing now is to talk through it. So we, are we talking through it right now? Well, uh, uh, not anymore. Okay. okay. So I just realized so I never. So now we are officially the the post show. Yes. So? I yes. just realized I never said my Twitter handle, but I'm okay because I can't fucking oh, spell it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, so, t- all right, so post show. Okay, so Patreon I exclusive. It. I can't fucking spell my Twitter handle. You can't spell? Really? I can pronounce it.